What's up guys? We're back at it again. What's up? What's up? Download the Domino's app today and become a piece of the pie rewards member to earn points toward free pizza. Welcome to the live, guys. Already got 18 people here. Wow, that is amazing. Hello, good night. We have Vishnu Sibalak, first person to comment on the live. What's up, Vishnu? Welcome back. Anjali, good night. Guys, today I'm just juicing. This is my second live juicing video, so, um, we got Gabrielle in here, Asha, Kathleen, what's up guys, thank you for joining today, invite your friends that are interested in juicy and healthy eating, um, last time we made a, an orange juice with carrots and, um, ginger and uh, a bunch of good stuff. You can check it out in the, the last video. It came out really, really, really good. We loved it. So today we're gonna do some greens. We got um, a lot of collard greens here. All this collard greens. Got some cucumbers. Lots of celery. Lots of uh, watercress. Lots of uh, cilantro, apples, and kale. And, and we also have some beets, but I don't know if I'm gonna use this yet because you know what, once you add beets to something, the whole thing turns red, so it won't really be like a green, green juice, but you know. But yeah, anyways guys, let's uh, get started juicing here. Make a nice quick video for you guys. Comments. I'm reading all the comments, guys, right here. We got Savita Ali in here, Susie Sharda. What's up, guys? Thank you for joining the live tonight. It's a nice Saturday night. So, what I'm going to start juicing first is the I'm, just, I'm probably gonna do one by one tonight, guys. Last time I kinda, I mixed it all up. And I did, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But today I might do one at a time just to keep it simple and see exactly how much juice is coming out from everything so I can kinda average what I need to put. So I'm gonna start off with a bag of celery first because these should get some good juice. So I wanna see how much juice this gives right here. We try to post when we can. It's been pretty busy lately, but we're gonna try to keep posting healthy videos and you know, mostly healthy stuff because our most of the time we're we eat healthy on a daily basis, you know, so Rinse. 
is organic celery stick, guys. I'm just giving it a little wash. Quick little wash because on the package it already says it's tripled wash, which is amazing, you know. But you know, you never know what's in here. Little flies or bugs, I don't know. But you get to wash it yourself. Yeah, guys, I'm wearing a cap today. I forgot to put a cap on. <laughs> Sharda, you'll be seeing y'all will be seeing the baby very soon. Yeah, guys, I'm missing a hat. Maybe I should put a hat on, right? Guys, I'm washing this celery, and on the package it says triple wash, but I'm seeing some little brown things in there and they're coming right out, so it's a good thing I'm washing this. Now oh, we got Layla Voodoo back here from Barbados. Welcome, Layla. All right, we're gonna start with the celery first. Six people in here already. Very nice. We got Usha Ali watching from Toronto, Canada. Oh, lasagna? Yeah. Angela, we actually have a lasagna video out that my wife makes. It's a gluten free vegan lasagna, which is really, really amazing. Be sure to try that recipe out. Cut all these into little cubes. To make it easier for this juicer to process it. All right. Let's uh, turn this juicer on, guys, and see how much juice we kind of get out of this one bag of celery. We're starting with this first bag here. I left a link down below and also to the, the bottles that we use. Oh yeah, this color is going to give a lot of juice guys, I can't really tell. We got Kelly, Lucia, Santia back in here. Welcome Kelly, we got Alicia, Wortley. Welcome, Alicia. I'm glad that y'all could join me tonight. It's just a simple little juicing and chilling type vibe, type vibe going on tonight. Guys, y'all see that juice just squirting out here? Look at that. COVID is still pretty bad over here. It's uh, a lot of people are lifting the mask restriction, which I don't think is a good idea, but you know. I just went to the grocery store to get some more of these greens and kale, the juice, and some people are walking around with no mask still, so you know. But us, we always wear a mask, you know, just to be safe. But I don't know how some people can just walk around with no mask, like everything's okay, you know, because it's not. There's still a lot of cases every day. Yeah, guys, Sunil has his own YouTube channel. It is called Island Life with Sunil, so make sure you check it out. He might pop in on the, the live just now. I think he has like two videos on that channel so far. And 
basically what I've learned guys is two full jugs of this cup right here. They're gonna make about six bottles of juice. So, you know, if I make more, that'd be great because I mean I do have a lot of bottles anyway, so. I don't laugh at the nail, guys. He tries to make videos when he can. He's a really busy person, but you know. Aren't we all kind of busy at the end of the day? Guys, y'all see how the celery juice come out of here? I don't think y'all can see it, but uh. I'm trying to scoot over a little bit for you guys. Y'all see all the cellar juice coming out? The baby's name, our baby's name is Syra, guys. S-Y-R-A, Syra. It means princess. Four people in here. Guys, today we're doing a green juice. So I'm going with all the celery first. Got the pulp coming out. Nice and dry. Wow. Guys, when I'm done with this one bag of celery, I'm gonna show you how much juice it is. It's actually a lot, so I'm pretty surprised. Alright guys, this is the last of it right here. And then I'll be done with one bag of celery. Here's the bag that I uh, started using. I'll show y'all how much we got out of that just now. Well, we got Melania in the chat, guys. My wife is in the chat. So if y'all would like to speak with her or say anything to her, she is in the chat, guys. Oh, we got Abisha in the chat, too. My sister-in-law. Welcome, Abisha. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting, guys. Be sure to subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, that would be very much appreciated. Be sure to like the video. And every week, I'm going to be juicing something else for my wife and I. Today, it's going to be mostly green juice. Guys, we, we like to drink cold pressed juice every single morning. Hey, you just feel so good after you drink it, trust me. Think about how much nutrients are in this juice. Oh, we got Daryl Jones from Guyana. What's up, Daryl? Walking from, um... oh, and Canada, okay. Awesome, Guyana and Canada. Oh yeah, guys, I made a, we made some, uh... I made some doubles tonight. I don't know if y'all remember the gluten-free, healthy uh, roti I made one time. It's a vegan roti. I just make it a little bit smaller, like that size, like a double size basically. And uh, put some 
nice ch curry chickpea on top. Topped it with some cucumber chutney, tamarind sauce, and kushala. Oh my god. That was amazing. I might make one just now for you guys and show y'all. Hey, Angelie, I see that. <laughs> we got Eric singing here. What's up, Eric? All right, guys, let me show y'all something real quick. Turn it off. All right, guys, so I just juiced one bag of celery, right? This is what I just juiced right here. Look how much we got out of that one bag. Check that out. This is literally one bag. This equals this right here. Look at that, guys. This is a lot. This is a lot of juice right here for the celery. So I'm going to get my pot out and start straining it. Because remember, always strain your juice. No matter how good your juicer is, you always want to strain it. Remember guys, it doesn't matter what order you juice it because I'm gonna put it all in this pot right here and then mix it up at the end. I'm gonna wipe down this pot real quick guys. I'm putting it in this pot right here. Check out this juice right here guys. Wow. Beautiful. Right now, one guys, be sure to leave your comments down below. My wife are here. My wife's in the chat, reading everything also. I messed up. I uh, didn't strain this like I said I was. I'm gonna put this back in here real quick. I wanna make this shirt as clean as that, thin and as smooth as possible. No pulp at all, pulp free. That's what we're going for today, guys. Pulp free. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, get all this excess water droplets out of this pot. All right, I got my strainer, check it out. I'm gonna put it right here. Now, pour the celery juice in there. Now we're talking. There we go, guys. Wow. And immediately, you can see the pulp that came out of that. Let me show y'all real quick. I'm gonna take this off here real quick, guys, so y'all can see close up. Check it out. So, here's the celery. I just drained right here and check it out. All the pulp that came from this one package of celery I just juiced. Look at all this pulp that was in there. We don't, we don't want that. And look at this nice, clean juice in here. By the way, guys, y'all want to see what we made for dinner? Made some uh, curry chickpeas with a lot of spinach. Check it out, guys. And with that, we got some uh, quinoa. And also some uh, vegan gluten-free rotis here and even some little doubles check it out so yeah guys let's continue juicing i'm gonna juice another pack of celery real quick it's kind of crooked one second They've been holding up pretty well for the most part. 
Upstairs, trying to go outside, one second, guys. Quite a bit of juice from that bag of celery. Um, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna do some cucumber next. Since y'all just saw the celery, mix it up like that a little bit. So we got these two cucumbers here. We got a little bit more smaller ones here. Oh, we got two and a half cucumbers. So we're gonna juice two and a half cucumbers real quick. See how it comes out. Sweet, sweet TNT. Guys, Trinidad is an amazing place. I am looking forward to going back there one day. Guys, let's just this two and a half cucumber and see how the juice comes out. do produce a lot of juice so that's pretty much like the base for this whole thing but we do have some apples actually too so the spinach and the colored greens and stuff that stuff produces like very very little juice so you always need a base with your with your juices yeah Eric, I, I should be the i actually made a cucumber chow earlier when uh, we were eating the doubles I put some of that on top of the double man. I think it's really good. Got some hammer and kitchula. Really amazing. guys. Can't wait to drink this tomorrow morning. Yeah, once again, this cucumber is making a lot of juice. It's going to make at least half this cup already. So we might even be able to make more than six bottles this time. Last time, I felt like I juiced a lot, but we only made six bottles of juice. Six 16 ounce bottles. So hopefully we get more this time, guys. We got 54 people in here. Very awesome. All right, guys, and that's all the cucumber I have there for now. So let's let that go down. Got a little pusher here. Alright, that 
has all the cucumber. So I'm gonna do is close it, turn it off real quick. Check out two and a half cucumbers right here, guys. This is two and a half cucumbers, check it out. And you can see there's quite a bit of pulp in there. So what we're gonna do is put it through the strainer. And that's gonna strain there while we continue. All right, what should we do next? Let's do some uh, kale. Y'all wanna see how much juice we got of this one bunch of kale? I bought three bunches, so let's start off with this bunch right here. What do y'all think? How much juice do y'all think we get out of this one bunch of kale? Half a cup? A teaspoon? Start juicing this kale up. Let's see how much juice we get. Let's try putting it like this, guys. Got a little bit of extra celery juice in there. How much juice do y'all think I'm gonna get out of one bunch of kale? Let's see. There's still a lot of celery juice in there. Let me dump it real quick. So we're gonna mess with our stuff real quick. All right. Let's see what's the best way to put this in the juicer. It's just so leafy that Barely fits in the, the shoe, you know. What's up, Jason? Welcome to the live, bro. I still feel like there's some cucumber left in there somewhere, so we're actually getting like a lot of juice out of this. juicing time. Once a week is juicing time, guys. Always gonna have juice. This, this is my third time actually using this uh, juicer, guys, so if you're interested, I'll have a link to it down below. Seems to be a really good juicer so far, no complaints. We used to have a juicer that was uh, centrifugal, which is, you know, one of those really fast juicers, but it just does it really, really fast. And this one takes its time, it's nice and slow. And, uh, you know, with these slow ones, you really get a lot more juice rings out of it, you know? So, you know, we made the investment and got this one. And this one should, you know, last us years, so. Okay, 
got Irma La Raj in here. Yes, it is very gonna be very, very healthy. Ooh, we got all the kill coming out now. Check it out. Oh my god. That smells good. See, we still got 58 people in here. My loyal subscribers, thank you guys. I just come on here live just to juice for you guys, just hang out, chat, talk, you know, whatever y'all wanna do. And just stay active on YouTube, basically, you know? I don't want y'all to think I disappeared, you know? Oh, Irma, yes. We got lots of apples here. We didn't even start juicing apples yet. So you're right on time. Alright guys, so I noticed when juicing this kale, it kind of keeps on getting a little stuck, so maybe because it's just so dry and not that much pulp, so next time I do the kale, I'll have to mix it up with something, but here's the uh, kale I just juiced, check it out, it's basically this portion right here, all this is just like foam most of it, but this is all the kale right here, that, that was... Basically, one stock of this is this much juice right here. So let's go ahead and get that in the strainer. A lot of foam with that kale for some reason. I'm gonna go ahead and have to rinse this out. Now let me show y'all real quick where I'm straining it into. So y'all can just get a closer look. Check it out, guys. For the 63 people watching. Oh, Sadie wants to come back in, guys. Sadie. Sadie always lets me know when she's ready. Say hi, Sadie. Uh, check out these flowers I got for my wife for Mother's Day. It was her first Mother's Day. It says mom. Check it out. All right. So anyways. So y'all can see that it's uh, straining right here. So what I'm going to do is mix this up a little bit. And get it down. Get all this pulp away. a lot of pulp guys there's a lot of pulp in here and if i didn't strain it this would all stay in the juice so remember we want this juice to be as thin as possible Yeah, Gerald, cruises is not definitely not a good idea right now. Think about it. Before COVID, you would always hear those horror sto stories about cruise. Everyone on cruise ships getting sick because it's such a little, you know, confined space you're stuck in there. So definitely, if one person on that ship has COVID, trust me, it's spreading really fast so that is very dangerous i would not trust to go on any cruise at all
a lot of pulp in here, guys. Alright guys, next we're going to do a bag of apples, so stay tuned. So I got to check it out, you can see all this pulp I got here. It's quite a bit. We got a lot more kale to do, but we're gonna give this juicer something sweet right, right, real quick. So, uh, it help lubricate the inside of it. And these are organic ambrosia apples, guys. stickers from your apple guys you don't want that getting juiced up obviously you know Get some apples going in there. See how much six apples does. Once again, we're doing six apples. Let's see how much juice this produces.
Yeah, I need to chop this apple into smaller chunks, guys, because when I put big chunks, it doesn't want to go down that good. It's a nice little cube, you yeah. know? I highly re recommend y'all investing in a juicer, you know? And try to juice every week. And it is fun, you know, just chopping up stuff and throwing it in here, watching it turn into a juice. description to this one in the, in the in the description box below I have the link to this juicer so if you're interested be sure to check it out got it from Amazon I'm pretty sure. I don't see why I can't. I got this juicer because they can do a lot of different things. You can make a, you can make nut melts and stuff with it too. So like you can do like car stuff like almonds and stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure it can actually. for this one just now. I'm gonna dump this pump from here. Shalom. Good night to you. Let me give you all another close up real quick. I did six apples. Check it out. We got mixed in with some of the, you know, old stuff that was in there. But this is six apples, guys. I'm going to go and take it off real quick. Close the cap. And pour it in the strainer. Pure apple juice right here. Beautiful. 
So that's gonna strain through right there. And so far we've been making a good amount of juice. So next, let's keep it rolling guys. That way we can finish up as fast as we can here. All right, guys. Sorry, let me fix this camera. All right. All right, what we got next? All right, guys, next, I'm gonna do some ginger. Got two pieces of ginger here. We got a little, a little sweet in there. Gonna have a little ginger in there now. Cut it up like nice, nice and tiny. You should uh, do it just fine. I don't, I don't see why it wouldn't work. Oh, we got a lot of ginger juice coming out of here, guys. A lot. Y'all see that ginger juice coming out of there? Yeah, Wendy. We drink this in the morning. Anytime before 12, usually. Or right after breakfast, we usually drink our juice. But guys, I'm only gonna add two clumps of uh, ginger for now. Let's see how that goes, you know? I just put two of these right here. So let's go ahead and take them off again real quick. Pure ginger juice. Check that out. Just like that, guys. Y'all see how fast it juices ginger? Put it through the strainer. Now let's keep on moving. What we got next? Let's do some uh, collard greens. Haven't done those yet. my first time actually juicing collard greens, so. Let's see how this comes out. Try to give them a little rinse. Always wash your fruits and vegetables, guys. Problem Barma. We got Rita Rumla watching from Pinal, guys. Welcome to the juicing live, guys. All right. Let's see what's the best way to juice this stuff up. Back on. 
try juicing some of these power greens. Like I said, first time juicing this. Stock of power green, guys. See how much juice we got out of that. When you juice like stuff like leafy stuff, like kale and these power green stuff, it's really hard for it to go down because you know there's like there's no weight to it, so it doesn't just like fall in there. So you kind of have to just push it down. Guys, if you're not subscribed already, please, sure please make sure to subscribe and support the channel. I'm going to be going live, hopefully once a week, to juice some new stuff for you guys. What's up, Kazim from Toronto? Juicer is holding up pretty well, as you can see. We're making a green juice tonight. I'm just doing a good job so far. I'm definitely going to need a bigger uh, pot than I thought. Because that celery and cucumber turned out to be a lot of juice. But yeah, this juicer has been amazing so far, guys. Like I said, the link to it is in the description down below. I don't know. Maybe I could put it in just like that with the core in it. I mean, it'll, it'll take it out anyways, you know, but I don't know. I just try to keep it as clean as I can at least, you know. Rocky, what's up, man? Welcome to the live. Jamila Maharaj. Thank you for coming back to our live. We all see y'all in here. If y'all haven't already, please make sure you subscribe and like the video, guys. Hey, Crystal Rapperson, doing great. How are you doing? Good night to you. And the juicer got a little stuck right now, so there's a button on here to put it in reverse to loosen up anything. Like I said, when you juice these greens, it's kind of hard sometimes. It's good to mix it with like some citrus and stuff with a lot of juice. So we just go really slow, you know.
All right, guys, I'm gonna throw in a, I'm gonna throw in a lemon real quick that kind of helps the juicer. Cause it keeps on getting stuck with these greens here. It's just, it's just so dry, you know what I mean? Trying to get some pulp out of this tube real quick, guys, because it seems like it's clogging up right here a little bit. Every time you do celery in the juicer, guys, it just all those little strands just gets you know it can get stuck on there pretty easy. So it's not really the juicer's fault, but yeah, this is just stuck in there. I think that's all it was. Celery and kale, how can you go wrong with that? <laughs> I know, I'm trying. I just keep on getting stuck with the, uh, with the uh, colored greens, guys. Y'all see the pulp coming out now? I think something was just stuck right there, but um, looks like a lot of but the pulp is coming out now, so should be good. All right, guys. So that's the uh, that was. I just did one stock of collard greens right here and two lemons. two lemons I did. But um, anyways, this is the collard greens right here. Very green. Check it out. One stock of collard greens. Get that in the strainer. Strange here. Check it 
out, guys. I don't know if y'all can see. I'm just helping us train here. Welcome back, Diana. Thank you for joining the juicing live tonight. All right, guys, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna empty this pulp container. Y'all can see the pot of pulp is coming out. Super dry, super nice. I don't have any need for it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and dump it for now. Oh, guys, we got Sano Gate Master in here. Sano is in the building, guys. Welcome, Sano. I'm making a juice for you, man. Thank you for joining up, brother. Guys, we're gonna do another pack of celery here. Y'all remember how much juice we got the first time? But remember, always gotta wash your greens first. Guys, if y'all are familiar with my uh, videos, y'all must know Sunil. Sunil Gate Master is in the chat. He has another channel too, Island Life with Sunil. So be sure to uh, subscribe to his channel. Check it out. bag of celery again so y'all can see how much juice we get out of this again. Let's go ahead and start up the juicer. Got some know in the chat. Let them know down below if you should come back to Texas. So we can do more live and hang out with you guys. We're just hanging out here tonight on this wonderful Saturday night, we're just juicing, just chilling, hanging out, nothing too crazy going on right now, you know? So I appreciate those, all of you that are here watching right now, just hanging out with me. So Noah is in the comments right now, so if you want to talk to him, just comment down below. Guys, 
And if you're not subscribed already, be sure to subscribe and like the video. We're going to be do, doing a lot more juicing videos and just hanging out with you guys. Juicer uh, doing a pretty good job so far, handling the celery. Let's see if it'll just take it like this, guys. Let's see. You just have to kind of slowly push it in there if you do it like that. And you can see, guys, check it out. Things that when it won't get stuck in the juicer, these like leafy things right there. So that's why I try to prevent that by cutting it up as small as I can. Alright, I still got the I still gotta do some lane throw water press. I totally forgot about that. I'm gonna do some of that after this. Alright guys, that's one whole bag of celery. And once again, we have a full cup. I'm definitely going to need a bigger pot, guys. So I'm going to get that pot real quick. Juicing takes a, about an hour or so, guys, because it just depends on how much you're juicing. I'm juicing for my wife and I. So, it's uh, it takes a while to think on how much you're juicing, especially since this is a slow juicer. If you have one of those fast juicers, obviously you could use a lot faster, but, you know, the quality wouldn't be there, just like these slow ones have. But, uh, yeah, yeah, this is going to take about an hour to two hours for me because there's just so much little things to juice. So instead of doing it by myself, that's why I like to come on live and chat with you guys. 
Oh, awesome, DJ, DJ Boss. Good to know. Thank you for watching the videos you, to you and your family. We will definitely be making more vegetarian things. Because, you know, my wife and I are mostly vegetarian, but we eat a lot of seafood too. Well, I do. Alright guys, I'm almost done straining this stuff right here. because I don't want to waste it because as you can see there's juice coming out of it still alright so you can see some of the pulp that I was straining there cut all that in the strainer What I'm gonna do now is transfer everything to the big pot. Using some cilantro and watercress. from Trinidad guys yep we are in Texas that is correct have a good night Gerald thank you for stopping by all right guys we got our cilantro here I'm gonna go ahead and do three cilantros for now I think that's probably more than enough Okay, 
We'll get the juicer going again, guys. Never juiced a lantern before, so let's see how this comes out. bunch of cilantro right there, just like that. See how much three stocks of cilantro makes in juice, guys, because I've never juiced it before. Oh, nice to know, DJ Box. I love roast bacon. We made a video on that also. I don't know if you saw that one, but we have a, a morning video that we did with bacon choca, tomato choca, and uh, those are really, really, really good. Last stock of celery now. I mean, sorry, cilantro. So much green things happening tonight, you know. The producer's doing a pretty good job handling this uh, beef green so far. They're not as dry as the kale and stuff. Talking about kale, I definitely need to put another kale in here. Check it out, guys. Wow. Three bunches of cilantro right there. Check it out. That is quite a bit of juice. Now 
using a lot of stuff today, guys. A lot of stuff. I do two bunches of water press. Sadie playing over here. You hear a dog barking? That is Sadie. best to just chop everything to small, small pieces, guys, and just slowly put it in there, you know, with the greens at least. everywhere guys. It's flying all over the place. Yes, Crystal Sanil is missing. But he might still be in the comment section, so if you want to talk to Sanil guys, check him out on his YouTube channel, I don't like with Sanil. What's in the pot is in the house. What's up, man? I'm just here juicing tonight. Nothing too, uh, you know, nothing too fun, but I'm just juicing and chilling. That's all I'm doing, guys. Just to hang out with you guys. Right now, I'm just juicing my second batch of watercress to add to my green juice. A lot of bottles of juice tonight. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, guys, I don't think 
because there's so much juice already, I don't think I'm gonna add the beets tonight to this green juice because honestly, that's just gonna turn everything a weird color. And I just wanna kinda keep it green, you know what I'm saying? Where the green juice by? Alright guys, let's see how much juice we got. Alright guys, check it out. This is two bunches of watercress right here. Look at that. Wow. Get that in the strainer. We did enough watercress and cilantro, we did enough celery, enough apples. We got more kale, let's do another kale. And uh, yeah, let's do another kale for now. I think we're almost done. What I'm gonna do is add this kale and then um, I'm gonna taste test the juice real quick and see what we're missing. I did this, we did an orange juice recipe. That came out really amazing. So make sure you check out that video if you're interested in that recipe. You can see exactly what we put in there. Put some carrots, ginger, oranges. Man, that was amazing. That was a really amazing drink. already make sure to subscribe and hit that like button and also hit the notification bell icon so you know exactly when I go live next time.
one stock of kale right there. So what I'm gonna do now is actually stop the juicer, and taste test this juice real quick. See if we're missing anything. Y'all remember how much lemons I put in here? So this is one stock of kale right there. Let me get that in the strainer. this right here. I'm going to taste test it real quick. And if it's okay, we'll start bottling it up. I always got to taste test it, you know. I don't want it to taste like gross when we have so much of it, you know. Got to have the right balance of celery and cucumber and everything. celery you know I might just do that I'm gonna juice the rest of this kale and collard greens and celery um, one more bag of celery because today I'm making a lot of juice guys maybe this will last us four or five days each so you know it's good to just get it done while the juice is out and about I 
thing is that most juice I've ever made in one sitting, guys. It's gonna be a lot. It's gonna come out with a lot of juice. I'm uh, really putting this juicer to the test tonight. guys that are still here watching really appreciate it y'all are some OG subscribers if you stay with me for this long I want guys it tends to get a little stuck. So let's see if I can clear this up. Hopefully. There we go. It's running again. Let's go to put some juice in there. stopping in there. Really putting this juicer to the test tonight, guys.
gotta keep stopping it, guys, because it keeps on getting a little stuck. So I just put it in reverse. And that just puts everything in there and everything just starts to come back up. Now we're running again. I think the reason it's getting stuck because that celery, those celery strings just keep on getting stuck in here. Look at this. It's just hard for it to go through this chute, I guess. Start going a little slower so it doesn't clog up. I can get through the rest of the stuff with it without it being too clogged up in there. Because, guys, I haven't used a whole lot of stuff so far, so. And it only clogged up a couple times, but this time it's. It seems like there's a lot of stuff in there. Yes, Alicia. Good to know you're still here. It is a whole pot of juice, so the juice is getting a little tired, I think. But I've been juicing for about, what, two hours or so now? Almost two hours? How long have I been juicing? Wow, yeah. Coming up on uh, two hours. So the juicer is pretty tired. So it's not the juicer's so. fault. I think the best method when juicing, to be honest, is to uh, do a little bit of everything. In the beginning, I did a lot of celery at once, and um, that maybe wasn't the best idea. So maybe do like, you know, a couple of celery, a couple of apple, a couple of kale. Just kind of mix it up, you know? Hey, Liana. Welcome, Liana, to the juicing live tonight. Thank you for joining, yes you can. I got a whole pot of juice so far, so. I'll show y'all just now, the big pot of juice that I have so far, is the last of it right here. This usually lasts us four to five days, minimum. That's what I'm thinking.
got Alicia Filbert, man from Manhattan. Very nice. six bottles, so three for my wife, three for me. So that lasted three days. And we've been without juice for a couple days now, so uh, that's why I'm trying to make a good amount tonight to last us four or five days. Because, you know, to pull out the juicer and juice every day, it's a lot of cleaning up. guys. We're going to start balling this goodness up. I can feel the juice are getting a little warm. The baby will definitely have some when she's old enough. She'll definitely be drinking Thank you, Liana. Thank you very much. I really appreciate the kind words. I try my best, you know. You know me. You know me. My lady's gonna have a lot of good stuff to put in her system. Stay very nice and healthy. Almost done. The stack is getting smaller and smaller here, as you can see. Oh, another cloth. Guys, remember, this wasn't foggy in the beginning, but it's been going for almost an hour and a half now. The juicer's been working really hard, so. I hear you're not there. You're not supposed to run it for more than 30 minutes at a, you know, at a time, so I'm really putting it to work. To clean, to clean any juicer, really, you have to take it apart and um, take out every single piece, and you have to brush it really good so it doesn't, you know, stain up, and uh, the pieces are 
you know, vegetables don't stick in there. So it takes me a good half an hour or so to clean this after, but based on what I read from the reviews, I got this one because it's one of the easiest ones to clean. Welcome Annan from Curacao. Thank you for watching Annan. We're almost done juicing guys and now I'm gonna show y'all how much we make. This juice is gonna last us a while. We're almost there guys, home stretch, home stretch. Yeah, I can see a lot of little fine stuff stuck in there. Stuff that's getting stuck here too from the celery. Look at this. We're almost done. Oh my god, I've been running this juicer for an hour and a half now, so that's an, pretty much an hour over its recommended time. So hopefully I don't break it, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, I'm making a lot, a lot of juice. Um, we did add some apples, so that's pretty much the sweetness for this juice tonight. We added six apples earlier. And I just taste tested it and it tastes really good. And I see we have a lot of leftover stuff here, so that's why I'm just juicing some more stuff. But yeah, apples was a sweetener tonight. This juice is gonna, this juice is gonna be a, a lot of cleaning when I'm done, guys. A lot, I can tell. Six people watching, very awesome. Better than nobody, you know, gotta be grateful. So thank you guys that are watching tonight. You know what I'm adding under Jesus, you guys. So much good ingredients flying around, you can't waste it.
almost done, almost done. It's just these clocks that are stopping me, or I'd probably be done already, to be honest. For those of you that's still here, see all this string of stuff in here? I'm pretty sure that's what's clogging the insides. But yeah, this stuff is dry like grass. You know? Just take it out. A lot of juice guys. Hello, Patricia Ali. Welcome to the juicing live. We are almost done juicing, guys. Got a big pot of it over here.
Yeah, it went a little faster, so it clogged up a little bit. Hey, Kerry Singh, what's up? Welcome to the live, man. Appreciate that. It means a lot. That's why we that's why we're live today, because we have some loyal subscribers. We just like to hang out with you guys. Gotta keep some content coming, you know what I'm saying? Thank you, Carrie. That means a lot, man. Thank 
you very much. Gotta stay healthy, you know? You gotta feel good every day when you wake up. And this juice is the perfect way to start your morning, you know? A fresh juice with only good veggies and fruits in it. Everything organic. Nice way to be. All right, that's it, guys. See how easy that apple juice? It like didn't even clog at all. When you're juicing those greens and celery and stuff, it clogs. Hey guys, let's turn it off. Dump this apple juice in the strainer. All right, I'm gonna give y'all a close up of it just now. Let's strain this real quick. I've never juiced so much in my life. I do love peaches and mangoes. Guys, check this out. Check out all the juice. Look at the size of the pot and look at all the juice. Nice and thin. Let's do a quick taste test real quick. Make sure it tastes good. Before I bottle it up, we don't want it to bottle up and it'll taste good, you know? So let's see. Guys, it tastes really good. I'm not gonna lie. Let's go ahead and bottle it up now. Do y'all wanna see me bottle it up? trick real quick to clean your juicer. If y'all have a juicer like this, what's up, Kasim Mahadeo? If y'all have a juicer like this, let me show you a quick little trick on how to clean it. Before you take it apart, that is. If you do, you're gonna get a cup of water. Do is keep the cap closed and start the juicer while the juicer's going. We want to fill it up to uh, your 16 ounce line. Well, it's almost there, but. Y'all can see, it's filling up in here. All the water's filled to the line here. So you're gonna let that run there for like 20 to 30 seconds. I'm gonna do it twice actually. And then once that's done, you just open the cap. And let that all drain out. The water helps clean inside and all those little parts and strainers in there. I'm gonna do it one more time. So I still have to take it apart later and clean it, of course. But this just kind of helped the cleaning process a little bit. 